Avec un sabayon huile de livre citron, 4 gambons, 4 saint-pierre, un petit veau purée de pommes de terre avec pommes soufflées et 4 pigeons. Oui, <rire> I was driving a Formula One car. <laughs> Still can't believe those words come out of my mouth, but today it's not about Formula One, it is about World Endurance Championship. This is my first Michelin mission. For those of you guys who have been following my journey so far, I became the very proud ambassador of Michelin tires uh, at the beginning of this year. And uh, the way that this project works between us is rather than telling me what to do, they have said, here's our contacts book. Go and open the doors which you otherwise couldn't open and see what kind of crazy content you might otherwise be able to make. It just so happens that uh, the hotel across the road from the race circuit, the chef in there has just received his third Michelin star. Uh, so I'm looking to draw comparisons and parallels between people at the top of their game. Racers at the top of their game, chefs at the top of their game, everything at the top of its game. Let's hit it. the car last time it's fairly new you've had new new turbo yep new front splitter yep new headlights when you're on test days like this what are you searching for what's the sort of main point of it uh, endurance is always the main thing obviously getting a good lap time is great but yeah not everyone will show their hand so sure. it's not always that helpful um, we were speaking about it earlier unlike formula one where if you qualify in the front you normally have an advantage throughout the race sure here it's a 24-hour race or a six-hour race so qualifying is less of an issue, it's more about making sure the engines can last. I mean, having 800 horsepower and 1,500 newton meters of torque running for 24 hours on the limit, like, it's no longer like it used to be where you run conservative, we're running qualifying like, all the time. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's endurance, making sure the parts work, making sure we work as a team, yeah, everything together, and that's why we have this 30 hour test, which sure. we've never done. So, run me through the, the hair story and why I still think you're wearing that hat. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you saw me when I jumped out of the car, did you? No, I, I have hair, I promise. I, sure. I have hair on the back of my head. Still, see? I think it's looking a little bit thinner than the usual. Yeah, you know, you see, you see why, but yeah. uh, it was not my favorite moment. Um, we've had, uh, I've had better seat fits yeah, before. Man. Yeah. So when you have a seat fitting, you get put in this uh, sort of pliable foam, like like goo, right? This one is like two. Uh, liquids, okay. you mix them together, okay. and then they, re they start a reaction after two minutes or something. Yeah. And you put it inside the bag that's inside the car, mm -hmm. you jump in, and the thing expands, yeah. and it molds around your body, which is yeah. really great, right? Sure. Except for when you miscalculate the amount of foam, and mm -hmm. the foam comes over the top of the bag, and onto your hair. Onto your hair. You know what, I'll tell you what, if, you, if it was up to me, it I would have just 
just shaved the back of my head. It's a lot. Your team already wins for the best outfit. I do think so too. Right, straight away. The first thing I saw when I entered this Gotta morning was his outfit. With an like, impact. Absolutely, man. So straight away. Zebra power. The biggest. Is it zebra? Like, like a... <laughs> it's Bengal Tiger. Bengal Zebra. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. started it up for a brief amount of time to hear what this thing sounds like but to be here now and see it working during live testing is so special uh, i've been speaking with the guys here at aston testing so far is going fantastic uh, yeah they're really looking forward to this season because they're so confident in these cars uh, these guys are doing some sort of Okay, back to the hotel. Speaking of which, look how gorgeous this place is. Every window I look through, something special is happening. Speaking of special, it is now time to pull all of this story together and experience this incredible chef. So this game gets me into some really interesting places. Welcome to Christophe Bacquier's kitchen. This is a three-star Michelin chef, no less. They have invited me in to connect cars and cuisine. I mean, I can't think of a better way of <laughs> finishing my day. It's been uh, the saturation in supercars and race cars. And now I'm in this incredible kitchen watching food craft like I have never before seen. I know this might seem like a tenuous link. The, the amount of similarities between racing pits, the racing garage, and Chef's Kitchen is incredible. They are one united team, they're like a big family, and despite the fact that it is Chef Christoph that has got the three stars, it all happens because of this team. And if you look around here, you can draw the comparisons between a garage, it's very, very cool. Okay, I mean, look, you know I'm from the car world, but this is amazing. I am actually, well, forget looking at this, look where I am sat. <laughs> so I'm actually in the chef's office and I've just been served the starter and I have a window view of the kitchen to see what's going on. The coolest thing about all of this is every step of this first dish I've just seen being made. So the appreciation that I have for what is in front of me right now has just gone off the charts. Look at it. It's crazy. And all of these things here, as you've seen a minute ago, they were placed by tweezers. The intricacy of it all. I mean, look how small this piece of fish is. There's my, my pinky for some context. It is just stunning, so. 
I'm going to indulge in this, and then we're going to uh, explore some more kitchen time, some more intricacies, and then call it a day. What an evening! <laughs> And just like that, it was over. What an incredible day. The opportunities that have just happened have been mind-blowing. Uh, let me know, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this content. The last couple of days, the content has been a bit different, granted, but it's been really nice to mix it up. Uh, from here on out, things get even more crazy. And uh, yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ciao.